everybody. I'm back. <laughs> Excuse me, puppy dogs. They're all up under my feet today. This is uh, a long journal, and it measures nine and three quarters by four and a half, we'll say. It's a little bit over, but you know who's counting. And on the front, I used um, a real pretty piece of lace for the background. It's got a striped, I'll show you the back here in a minute. It's made out of a striped beige on beige fabric. And I put a seam binding bow and some flowers. Just It is like a collage journal, so I collaged the cover. I figured that would work. Little teacup here, pretty lady, um, a little card and a tag, and uh, some fabrics here with a little rosette. And there's that gorgeous, um, with threads, threads. I don't charge extra for the threads, y'all. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. That sounded bad, didn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Um, but it's real pretty. It's a nice, pretty beige on beige tone with the white stripes going down it. And I used, um, I think I matched the tie with absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm betting a thousand a day, aren't I? This has got a belly band up here in case you wanted to store something uh, that may be a little bit long. And I made the pocket out of the same that I did the cover and put some different fabrics and a safety pin with a little butterfly charm. And inside I put um, a little booklet. And it's, it's uh, lined with a book page. And then uh, the inside has got a whole bunch of different, different papers in it. And again, I said, like I said, this is a collage book. It's, it's stitched in that uh, light coffee color. And this uh, it's got a lined paper, and it's got a collage of a teacup um, with some flowers. And a pretty lady. All this is separate things. I just cut them out when I'm uh, at night, when I'm in front of the TV, you know. And I just cut this stuff out and put it in a little box for use. A little tag here with a book. Sorry, I was keeping my eye on Cooper. I heard him moving around, and my coffee's over there. <laughs> he was looking right at me like, I'm not doing nothing. Okay. A little piece of lined paper. I thought that was just gorgeous. So pretty. A little pocket over here. It says a day to remember. It's also got a little tuck in case you want to put something there. Some assorted laces and fabrics up here with two cards. And, you know, I leave all the threads, so if they drive you crazy, just cut them off. Another little card here with a tuck spot, and then you've got this space behind. Love that dual functioning. Same here. Place to write here with a big card that's part of a dinner napkin there. Another collage there, different papers. And same here. And book page, um, an image there, a clock and a birdie. And then some flowers up here. This is stitched in green. I think I used a mixture of the green and the um, coffee color. Pretty image here. Another little bit there. This I left open. It will hold something. I didn't put anything in it. I thought it was just kind of pretty. Another place to write here with a, a man and a woman with a teacup. Another little collage area. I thought it would be neat to write up here and then right down here. Another collage grouping. I put her on top of a tag and a flower and then a tag up there. Same colors. Little pocket here with the blue and right, white striped, a bunch of different fabrics, and a teacup and a flower. And then two cards. I like the fold up kind. It gives you a little bit of extra writing space. I'm finding I'm adding those to mine. Some stitching here. Another little book page tuck here with a teacup, and then you got all that space too. Some different collages. A lady reading a book, a part of a book page, and some different fabrics over here. And stitching all the way around with a great big fan. And this is the center of the book, and I did a little collaging, of course, because it goes with everything, some flowers, then you have a little lady in the background with a teacup, but it's kind of like a, um, oh, that's in the paper, um, kind of like a little mini booklet, just with some 
coffee dyed papers on the inside. Kind of neato bonito. I didn't decorate them. I left them. I left them for you. Part of a book page here and some flowers with a little girl reading a book. I like that fan idea so much I did it again. Over here is another tuck spot with all this space and the little teacup at the bottom. And that's, those are made out of dictionary pages. Some stitching over here. Another collage. Uh, with flowers in the teacup and some flowers down here and then the green stitching You know if I had any sense I would have scanned these before I made this book and then all I'd have to do is print them out because I really do like these pages But I didn't do that. So there you go There you have it two little cards over here another collage with a pretty burgundy fan and This is part of an old hymnal that I have and I put some flowers and a clock and a girl. And again, the uh, fabric. Little rose there. Another uh, collage with a cameo that's been enlarged. Part of a book page and a pretty lady. Love that. With uh, the butterfly, an image back there and another flower. Here's a little mini tuck. Mini tuck. And another one. Because you can never have. This must be the coffee dyeing that I'm doing here lately. Somehow I'm getting a spot in it. I don't know how I'm doing it. I also, and I have to go to the doctor for this, but I've also, I'm also seeing like a little speck. Um, I've noticed it for the last couple of days floating around the page, and I'm and I'm thinking, is that the speck I'm seeing, or is that really on there? Um. Part of a book page here. A little pretty page there. Another pocket with a teacup says blessed. And tea room and bakery. Tea room, tea room. A little tuck spot here. Or pocket, I should say. And two cards. Teacup and a tag. Another collage there. And again, over here, I put a longer book. Um... It's the same as the front. It's got the rosette belly band at the top and then the different fabrics with the safety pin and the butterfly at the bottom. And I put a envelope here and it's got some coffee dyed paper inside. Come on, little dude. And then this is a tag that I made. A pretty bright green and Blues. And then I put one of these long books. Some, I needed something long because I wanted it to fit up under there. And I know y'all have seen these before. This has got some birdies on the front, encyclopedia page, and the word, the definition of unconditional. And it's just got different uh, papers throughout. Just go through it quickly. Some got some stamping on it. And a little tuck spot here if you need to tuck something. I didn't put anything in there. And there's the bite. And there's that pretty fabric. And then the front again. Well, thank y'all so much for being here with me this Friday. Taking time out of your weekend to spend with me. And I will see y'all next Friday in the next videos. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good weekend.